Welcome to my home. And actually this week, it really is my home. Um, we're doing, gonna do things a little bit differently today, uh, only because I and most of our viewers are in the direct pathway of Hurricane Florence that's coming through. So today, we're gonna come to you a day early, today's Wednesday, and um, so today and possibly part of tomorrow are our last days of being able to get ready. Um, and a lot of our friends have, this is the first big hurricane that they are going through. So I wanna make sure that you know what to do to be prepared. Um, so we're just gonna go through a list today of um, tips, and hopefully things that will help keep you safe. So first of all, um, the chances are huge that we're going to at least lose power. Um, so make sure that you have new batteries for your flashlights. If you can find a generator still out there uh, at one of the big box stores, go get a generator. Um, and if you can't, then, um, uh, maybe it's time to uh, find a friend that does have a generator. Um, but um, fill your bathtubs, clean your bathtubs, first of all, and then fill your bathtubs up with water. Fill your sinks up with water that, um, that you don't use on a regular basis. Keep one sink uh, clear for, you know, used water. Um, or actually, you can use your used water to flush toilets also, but fill your bathtubs up with water because you may very well not have water for a few days. Um, keep a bucket or a pail nearby so that you can um, scoop out and uh, uh, use that. Not for drinking, but you'll need it to, you know, wash yourself, um, you know, water for your pets, that kind of thing. Um, do your dishes today. Run your dishwasher, get as much laundry done as you can get done. Uh, you may, this may be your last chance for two days or a week or longer. Um, so make sure you get your laundry and your dishes done. Um, you can also um, turn your house down a little bit cooler. Uh, today and tomorrow get it a little bit cooler because once your air conditioning goes out at least it'll take a little bit longer to get wa uh, warmer in the house again. Um, fill Ziploc bags uh, or, and your bottled water and put them in the freezer. Uh, fill your freezer up as much as you possibly can and then if the power goes out at least you'll have some cooler water as it is thawing out. Um, batteries for your flashlights. Most flashlights take D uh, size batteries. Some of the smaller ones take triple A's, but go ahead and replace the batteries in your flashlights now. Um, and also place those in strategic locations around the house. Make sure you have one in the bedroom or in the family room or in the kitchen because you never know where you're going to be when the power actually goes out and that way you're not stumbling around. Um, place your candles or your lanterns, if you go get a lantern like a camping lantern or something, um, place those in strategic locations also. So if you're sitting there watching TV and the power goes out, you have your candle right there to be able to um, light your way. Um, and having said that, if you're putting candles out, make sure that they are uh, clear of anything that they could catch on fire. Don't put them in next to your windows or your curtains. Make sure they're not around any papers, that kind of thing. And also put your package of matches right there with, um, with the uh, candles so you can light it up right away. Um, some people say to put your valuables in the dishwasher um, to keep them dry because they think that the dishwasher is um, um, tight, airtight. 
Uh, not really. Um, if you're going to put things in there so that they're all in one location, put it in a Ziploc bag um, so that uh, it stays dry in the Ziploc bag and it's all in one location. Um, also, if you're putting things in a Ziploc bag, uh, make sure you put things in there like um, your um, insurance cards and um, the chip ID for your pets, uh, that kind of thing, so that if you have to get out quickly, um, make yourself what the military calls a bug out bag. Um, make sure you have cash because the ATMs might not be working. So go to the bank today and get some cash. Um, put all of your insurance cards and, and the things that you're going to need um, for, you know, ready to go for this bug out bag. Um, and take enough cash with you that if you have to go to a hotel and they, they may have generators, but their um, uh, credit card machine might be down. So make sure you have enough cash that if you need to go to the grocery store, if you need to get gas, if you know, plan ahead that um, the, we all use our debit cards and our credit cards now, those machines may not be working. So plan ahead for that. Um, I mentioned uh, a minute ago to um, have your tags uh, or your chip card for your pet. Um, please, 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 if you have to leave for whatever reason, do not leave your animals tied up or crated. Um, they won't have a chance. Um, so don't tie them up outside. Don't leave them in a crate in the house. If something floods, you're going to lose your pets. And that, that would break my heart. And I know it would break your heart. Um, uh, right before the storm starts or as it's starting, um, make sure you take a shower. That may be the last one you get for a couple of days. So um, get clean when you have the chance. Um, make sure you take your animals outside so they can go potty before the wind and everything gets too bad. Um, if you have a garage, park your car in the garage. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things flying around out there uh, that, you know, could be, you know, the, the, the smallest thing could be a missile. So um, park your car in the garage if you can. Um, and then take a look outside today and say, can this be a missile? It might be your lawn chairs. Um, and if the wind is bad enough and it picks it up and breaks it through a window, you're going to get rain in the house. So look at things that um, potted plants or planters um, that could be missiles. So pay attention to those kind of things. Um, let's see. Uh, if um, um, the, just remember that the end of the storm or the back side of the storm is actually dangerous also. So just as the eye of the storm is going through and you go, oh, okay, oh. everything is good now. Um, it, it's not, you're gonna get the back side of the storm as well. And that can be just as bad. Um, uh, charge all of your phones, your computers, and your extra chargers. Put those all on charge tonight um, or today, and that way at least you'll be able to have communication with the outside world so you know what's going on. Um, have a plan in place for contacting your family members, whether that be on your cell phone, uh, or on Facebook, so you can mark yourself safe um, on Facebook, but have a plan in place so that people know that you're okay. And since I'm mentioning that, please check on your neighbors, um, especially your elderly neighbors. Uh, they, may, they may need some help. Um, so check on elderly, elderly neighbors or um, single moms with little kids. 
um, just reach out and, and if you're going to the grocery store today, see if they need anything. That would be if you can still find anything at the grocery store today. Um, so, but uh, charge all of your stuff up uh, so that you do have communication with the outside world. Um, when the um, when the power is out and we're starting to do some cleanup, um, make sure that if you drive out of your neighborhood or you know you drive somewhere, don't drown. Turn around. Um, if you see standing water or even rushing water in the street. Um, that is on a road that you normally travel, please do not go through that. You don't know that there isn't a downed tree under that water. Uh, you don't know how deep that water is. Um, you don't know if there is a downed electrical line in that water. Um, and you don't know that, honestly, that the road is still there. We have sinkholes here in our area. Um, so that water could have rushed under the road also, taken the road itself out and there may not be anything there. So do not drive through standing water. Turn around and go a different direction. Um, uh, stay out of the way of all of our wonderful linemen and um, uh, uh, the guys who are working to get the power back on. Um, they're gonna be out there and get your power back on as quickly as possible. I remember in Gaston and Isabel, um, I was without power 11 days and eight days um, because I lived in an area that was more remote. So it took a long time for them to get to us. Um, so just be patient. They're doing it as fast as they possibly can. Um, give them plenty of room on the roads for those power crews and for the police officers uh, that are out there directing traffic when the traffic lights are out. Um, those guys are working their butts off. And remember, they have families at home that are doing without them so that they can help us. So please be respectful of that. Um, let's see. Um, I think that's, that's my biggest tips. Just be safe um, and uh, stay inside. Don't go out joyriding for crying out loud. Don't go out joyriding and see what's going on. Um, just hunker down, fill your, fill your freezers up with as much stuff as you can because it, the fuller your freezer is, the uh, longer it will hold. All the cold stuff in there will hold it. Um, pull your coolers out. Uh, fill them up with ice. Now you get your ice maker going and just keep filling it up with ice now. Um, and uh, hopefully this will pass us all by and we'll just get some, a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain um, and, uh, and things will be okay in a couple of days. But um, uh, I guess uh, we'll c come back with you uh, with Make Yourself at Home next week. And uh, hopefully by that time, everything will be back to normal. And we, we will all be uh, um, talking about this and, and everything will be good again. So stay safe. Thank you for uh, watching Make Yourself at Home on a weekly basis. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Be safe. Bye-bye.